Hi, this is Dr. Kevin Smith. Thank you very much for checking out this video on hidden secret number seven of why you still have low thyroid symptoms despite your labs being normal and even if you're taking thyroid replacement hormone. The hidden secret of number seven of why you still have this problem is because of anti-thyroglobulin antibodies. So what is going on with this? As we talked about in previous videos, there's a condition called Hashimoto's autoimmune thyroid. And in Hashimoto's, what's going on is there's an autoimmune attack on your, against your thyroid gland. And what's going on is your body's immune system is being uh, turned against your own body. Hashimoto's is mostly a genetic problem. Something happened along the course of your life that turned this switch on and once it turns on you can't turn it off and the, what goes on is that the body's immune system, your white blood cells, start attacking your own body structures, your own body tissues and with Hashimoto's disease what's going on is that your body is attacking the inside of the thyroid gland. Now thyroglobulin is a precursor to thyroxin or T4 so it's, the, it's, it's what's made right before your body makes T4. So what, what, what's going on with this, with this part of Hashimoto's is that the body's immune system is actually attacking thyroglobulin, which inhibits or destroys your body's ability to make T4 hormone. So people that have this problem will have maybe normal or, low, uh, or, or high TSH levels, it will have low T4 because your, your body's not able to make T4. There's an inverse relationship between T4 and TSH. And as T4 levels go down, TSH levels go up. And as T4 levels go back up, TSH levels go back down. And so when the body starts to run out of T4 hormone or thyroxine, it sends a signal back up to the brain, to the pituitary gland, telling it to make more, more thyroid hormone and so the, the pituitary starts to secrete more TSH or thyroid stimulating hormone which then sends a signal to the thyroid gland to make more T3 and T4. Now thyroglobulin being a building block of T4 if the immune system starts to destroy that you're not able you, you can't make T4 any longer. So people will continue to suffer with low thyroid symptoms such as depression, hair loss, thinning of the hair, weight gain, uh, insomnia, they'll have constipation or diarrhea, they'll have low energy, brain fog, all the classic hypothyroid symptoms and this condition remains hidden because medical doctors typically don't even test for it. So it remains undiagnosed and the person will continue to suffer for years on end even if their lab tests look normal and they're taking hormone replacement therapy. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you learned something. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel and please tell a friend. If you have any questions regarding antithyroglobulin antibodies or Hashimoto's or low thyroid or anything that we talk about in this series, please feel free to contact me through my website at integratedmetabolic.com and thank you very much for checking out this video.